Alright guys, Bandit here doing a commentary. Now I've not done one of these in absolutely ages and I thought I'd do one over this gameplay. It's against Optic or Apex NA as most of you will probably know them which is Rambo, Scump, Merc and Big Timer. And it's from the Cross-Eyed Arena tournament from last weekend. And first of all this is pretty much the worst tournament I ever entered in my life. Uh, from what sounded probably like one of the best. It kind of came out of nowhere, a lot of the Americans were tweeting about it and uh, it was just basically a free online tournament with big prizes now first place gets two thousand dollars, second place gets a thousand dollars and third place got some cross-eyed arena goodie bags, now I really don't know what that is but all I know is goodie bags are the things that you used to get when you went to parties when you were like six but Basically, the tournament was also meant to have a loser's bracket, and that went completely down the shitter. I'll explain what happened there later. And, um... What happened is, pretty much this is the only game I got to play in the entire tournament, which we did lose, but there was meant to be a loser's bracket. And, uh, that was pretty unlucky that we got Optic first round, but, uh... Yeah, that's just... Nothing you can do to help that, that's just an unlucky bracket, but... We actually managed to take a map off them, which I'm pretty happy about, seeing as they did only drop one map, the whole of EGL. And obviously, um, this is the first tournament that uh, I think that they've actually lost since they've been a team, like online tournaments as well, because they actually lost in the final to Collapse, uh, who I'm not completely sure on their roster, but I know it was Parasite... Discoverable, and I think Rev Reven Raven was picking up, but I think he's actually joined their team now, and I'm not sure who the fourth player was. But anyway, yeah, I'm pretty glad that like, we took a map off them, and uh, that this ended up being their first tournament loss since teaming. Anyway, back to the Cross-Eyed Arena website. Uh, the tournament was meant to start 8 p.m. our time on um, Saturday night and ended up being delayed by like an, more than an hour for some reason and what happened was they did the bracket and then a few teams were showing up blank on the bracket out of the 253 teams that were in it one of the unlucky teams that was blank was my team so they had to like completely delete those teams and then like an admin remade it and then just put the team's gamer tags in the blast it was absolutely ridiculous and um like optic didn't know what was going on and they got um the win before they even invited us or we even played them at all but then obviously we got to play them in the end uh and we lost 2-1 which i was pretty good about really because the first map we actually could have won it i mean we actually ended up losing 4-1 but in the first half, we lost 3-0 and we got counter cap three times. Like, we literally had the flag back in our base and then we got counter cap three times. So, really, it was um, our error and not them. Well, I don't know. Obviously, it was a bit of both. But, I mean, we got the flag back into our base three times and managed to choke it. But then, on the last map, Dome, we got uh, completely just dominated, to be honest. And we lost, I think, 4-0. Uh, but, you know, it's there's not much like much you can do really on American host, uh, especially on a such a small map, Dome, where there's a lot of gunfights and stuff. But, yeah, EU teams did actually get to host in this tournament, so this is the map that we got to host, uh, which was unlucky really. I would have much preferred to, that, to get a host on the CTF, as I think it's much more of an advantage. But, yeah, the host did come in useful I don't know if you noticed in the first kill of this gameplay but I wasn't actually host but obviously he's playing on an EU host from America so he's gonna get a disadvantage but um yeah so what happened after that is we were waiting for ages to play in our losers bracket game because obviously there was a losers bracket in this tournament now this is where the website completely fucked up their losers bracket just failed and they said it corrupted and then they said the website corrupted and then later on they were going on to say that they got hacked now I think this is just excuses for a poorly run website but 
they were having just teams dropping into the losers bracket from all over the place and like teams were getting put out before they'd even played a game in the losers bracket if that makes sense so they completely fucked the bracket up and they said that they were going to be doing it manually like remaking the bracket and that it would be played at 1 a.m. our time so that's 1 a.m. Sunday morning and it just never happened I mean I'm not sure what time team stayed on till but my team went off but I was still online at like 5 in the morning and games weren't being played because my sleeping patterns was just completely fucked at the minute and um, I'm ill anyway if you can't tell from my voice but yeah the losers bracket just never happened that night and they were telling teams that it would which is annoying I, spe I suppose not as much for Americans but they didn't really consider the European teams that were, that were playing in it that stayed up for absolutely no reason and then the losers bracket was meant to continue at 6 p.m. the next day our uh, UK time and my team just got completely just deleted out of the tournament which is just I don't understand how that happened but uh, yeah I'm pretty pissed off the only like I only got to play one game uh, for one and secondly it was against Optic now I'm not really pissed off I had to play them like I'd rather play a really good team than just crap teams and get quite far in the tournament because um, obviously it's a good like good experience really to play people that are considered to be the best and um, especially when you can actually take a map off them now the map did actually end up really close uh, I shouldn't have fast forwarded that bit there uh, Kyle actually got two kills and I think those two kills clutch well not clutch but uh, those two kills got us defence now uh, I don't really prefer either side on this but uh, if it came to it I'd probably go for the defence because you can just camp it out now in this last round uh, I do actually get a nice two piece and like a little bit of a turn on a Rambo and then um, so we were three two up on men and then we almost choked it like they just got two out of nowhere but then Kyle got one straight away so it was a 1v1 situation and Kyle managed to clutch it so yeah the map did go right down to the wire in the end but we probably could have seen it out a bit earlier uh, so yeah overall uh, cross eyed arena I think they just bit off a bit more than they could chew for their first tournament. It looked really promising and then it just turned out to be a massive flop in the end. But uh, yeah hopefully they get that sorted because they're planning a lot more online tournaments and then they're actually planning LAN events so hopefully they get the organisation under lock. And there's the little two piece there. And uh, later on I looked in theatre and Skump was actually right round the corner just next to Rambo. And uh, in a minute when I pushed back through mannequins, he was right at the wall, like, near the pillars. And if he just looked round, he literally would have killed me a mini. But, uh, yeah, I could have got a free piece if I just charged him or something. But, uh, anyway, that's... Well, it's coming to the end now, so I'm going to finish the commentary in a minute. But, um, I kind of just stopped doing commentaries just because I don't have anything to, to speak about. And obviously in this one I've uh, just really talked about, rambled on about the gameplay and the tournament for about 9 minutes now. And it is kind of hard doing commentaries, to be honest. But here, this is where Kyle gets one under the tunnel. So he's in a 1v1 situation now and he's got 30 seconds left on defence. Um, and he does actually manage to do it in the end. And another thing quickly is that apparently uh, on their stream, like Rambo was just... Uh, talking shit about us for no reason like I'm not sure why like when we went to host and stuff as well he was crying but I really don't know what that's all about uh, that's just what someone a few people told me but it, this is where Kyle gets the last kill now so we win the map 4-3 and Rambo leaves pretty quickly to go and host but uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary guys and I would do more commentaries again soon but I just really have nothing to talk about so yeah again I hope you enjoyed the video uh, commentary and the gameplay peace